Hey all, this is George. Welcome to Step Aerobics. It'll be about 45 minutes to 50 long, 50 minutes long. It's all cardio. There won't be any strength work uh, or abdominal work or anything like that, but we will do a nice stretch at the end. Do whatever portion you can do, do whatever steps you can do, just as long as you keep moving. If you can't get a step, a particular movement, make one of your own, or usually I try to teach the, the bedrock step first, the fundamental step, and then I start adding layering changes to it. Uh, if somewhere along the way those changes kind of confuse you, just make something up, as long as you keep moving. As my friend Didis has said, there's no bad workout. The only bad workout is the workout that didn't happen. And I mean even the steps as well. It goes down that to that granular level. If you can't get the step, make it up. Don't stop moving. So I've been using the past few step classes to introduce new moves and usually I introduce it on the other side of the step and because it's a little challenging with this new streaming to see exactly what I'm doing sometimes because I also don't know if you're doing it. But this movement I want to do from this side of the step and still pretend that you are on your side of the step just like I would be on this side of the step. But I'm going to turn around so you see it more clearly. And for those of you who are new to step or watching step, instead of looking at my legs sometimes, look at my feet. And that really applies to this one as well. It's called the lunge. We call it a lunge, but it's not really the kind of lunge you do in strength work. It's really a tap. So I'm going to give you my backside and you're going to see the ugly haircut I gave myself as well as other bad things back there. So what I'm going to do is go up on my right. And if I go up on my right, I'm going to tap back and then exit. So I'm going to go up, up, tap, tap, and exit. Up, up, tap, tap, and exit. All right, not that hard from that. So practice it a few times while I'm still talking, but face me as you do it instead of turning away. So those taps, you can do a single tap, you can do a double tap like I just did, you can do a repeater tap. All right, and that can switch the leg, the lead leg. You can do three taps. There's so many combinations, just like with the knee lifts. And then we're gonna go through our warm up with some music, obviously, and put that in there as well with all the other ABCs of step. All right, so the first part, the warm-up, is considered the ABC of steps. Are you ready to go? For those of you in Washington, you're probably looking outside going, well, I'm stuck inside anyway, but this rain is keeping you in there. Hopefully this step class on the energy is going to push it away and we'll have a nice weekend. All right, enjoy it. I hope you stick with it. And if you only do a portion of it, hey, it's better than nothing. All right, let's get going. Grab some water if you need. Have a towel if you need. And like I've said before, you don't need a step. You can just use uh, your floor. You can use a doormat. And we are gonna go. All right, start marching on your right leg. And you might also notice there's a little bit of a lag from my voice to my foot to the music to you. That's just the way streaming works. So it takes about five or ten minutes for you to kind of hear me and do this, I've noticed. Because when I go back and watch it, I'm thinking, boy, this guy was crazy. Are you ready? Basic step, right foot. So you go up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. So that's our first step. Now give me a V step. Out, out, down, down. Out, out, deep. Yeah? Now how about some knee lifts? Give me one more knee. Now march right here. So now with your left foot, basic step, left foot up. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, one more. V step, out, out, down, down. One more, leg curls. 
Did we get all of that? That's four steps all in a row. A basic, a V-step, a knee lift, and a leg curl. Two more. Let's add the next one. Kick. And four more. Two more. Now on the floor, march for me for a second. We did this last week. A mambo cha-cha, you're gonna take this left foot, cross over, watch this. So rock, one, two, three, rock, one, two, three. So remember, you don't wanna lean over, but you definitely wanna lean into it. Give me four more. Four, three, two, let's take it backwards a little bit. Basic left, up, up, down, down. Two more. V step. Two more. Knee lifts. Leg curls. Here's your next one. Mambo cha cha. Did we get it? Four, three, two. Let's add the next one right away. Kick it, step kick. So step, kick, and kick. Two more. I lied. Now two more. And march on your right foot. Basic step up, 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 down, down. V step right. Two more. Knee lift. Two more. Leg curls. Are you getting it? I bet you are. I bet you are. Go to those kicks. Two more. Mambo cha cha. Two more. And march on your right again. Remember this one we added list last week. It's the rock, kind of like a mambo cha cha, but it's just a rock, no cha cha. It goes rock, 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 and march. Do it again, rock. And march and rock. And march. Now double rock. Two more. Now let's do those together. Single rocks and double rocks. Do it again. Singles and doubles. Now one single, one double, and march. Let's go to the beginning. Basic, up, up. Now V step. Knee lifts. Leg curls. And kicks. And mambo cha cha. Now one single, one double, double, one more time, single, double, and march. So that's the steps we'll use, plus that tap I showed you at the very beginning, that lunge back tap. Let's warm up a little bit more. March live, four, three, and tap. Swing your arms to the left. Look to the left. So you're rocking toe and heel. We're about to drive it into that right calf. You ready? Plant your left foot, come up on the right calf. Up, up, up. So just driving the heel down for four, three, two, 
two, you're gonna reach back with that foot a little bit lower. You're gonna press and fly, press and fly. You're gonna draw the knee in and out, warming up this right hip. One, two more. Sit back for that hamstring on the left. Down and up, down and up. Four more like that. Four, three, two. You're gonna hold the next one down here. We're gonna warm up your low back with cats and cows. As you do it, you're turning all the way around to face the right side. Four, three, two. You're gonna rise all the way up for this hamstring. Down, up. So you're getting into that right hamstring. Last four. Four, three, two. You're gonna lunge forward lightly with your right foot. You're gonna press and fly. Knee and heel. Press and fly. Four more. Four, three, two. Up on that right toe for that calf, or left foot for that calf. Up and down. Up and down. Four, three, two, rock back and forth. Now you should be all warmed up and we're ready to go. So I'm going to build on a pattern I used last week. March it out on a left foot lead, basic left. Are you all ready? I don't expect you to remember what we did last week, but I bet it's gonna get a couple of brain cells in there. You're going, oh yeah, that was weird. Single knees. So far, so good. Four, three, two. Give me a triple knee repeater. And a triple again. One more time. Now basic right. Triple knee repeater. Basic right left. Oh. Triple knee repeater. Basic right. Triple knee repeater. How are we doing so far? Basic left. One more time on the triple. Basic. Now this time, give me a five knee repeater. Five, four, three, two, one basic left. Five knees. Five, four, three, two, one basic right. Five knees. One basic left, five knees. Five, four, three, two, one basic right. Leg curls for a break. So I'm gonna take those five knees and change them around. Some of you will remember this, but if it starts to seem a little screwy and bizarre, then remember the source, I'm just saying. Go back to the five knees. But I'm going to come around on your side of the step. All right, give me the regular five knee repeater. Five, four, three, two, basic left. Five knee repeater. Basic. Give me five knees. Watch this. March. So I went up and I did two knees and then I rocked backwards. Single knees. We're going to try it on the other side. It's a little crazy. All right, give me two knees, repeater, rock back, and just rock forward and march. Two knees, rock back, and rock forward. March. Do it again. 
rock back, double rock forward, and march. Double knee, rock back, double rock, and march. Basic left, how do we do? I'm gonna stay on this side for a little bit longer. Now just give you the double rock. Two more. Leg curls. I'm going to change that double rock. Double rock, you double rock. I'm going to do a tango on the step. If you want to join me. One more. Leg curls. Double rock or tango. Two more. One more. Leg curls. I'm going to stay here on this side of the step and show you one more thing. Tango or double rock. A little tick tock. Or you can stay with this. One more. Leg curls. All right, remember that double knee? Double knee. Rock back. Now tango. Basic. March, leg curl. Double knee. Tango on the step. Basic left. Double knee. Tango on the floor. Then the step. Basic. Double knee. Tango on the floor. Then the step, basic, double knee. So I just showed you another option, tango, on the step. I did a tick tock, basic, leg curls. How do we do? I want to base you now. I want to see if you're doing it, because I can see right through this. You ready? Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step or tick tock. Basic. Hold your basic. So the left foot going up. There's options on your basic. So this is a regular basic. Don't worry, we're not going to do a revolving door today. I know you're thinking, oh, thank gosh. So here's a little power option. Run on top and down. Run on top, walk down. Here's another option. A jump squat. I still step down. Leg curls. So those are options for basics. There's another one I'm not going to show today. You ready? Double knee tango. Tango on the step. One basic, your version. Double knee tango. On the floor and then the step. One basic left. Double knee tango. On the floor or in the step. Basic double knee tango. On the step now. Basic leg curls. How do we do? Can you put that one in your pocket? We'll come back to it. All right, remember V step left foot. This will be familiar to some of you. Now mambo cha-cha. Two more. Step kick. Give me one more basic. I mean one more kick. Basic right. Oh my god, I don't need to confuse you with my words now. V step right. Give me two more. If you want some arms? Now mambo cha cha. For four, three, two, step kick. So I'm going to start reducing the number of repetitions of each of these moves. Not all the way down yet, so don't get crazy. Two more. B step twice. 
mambo cha chas this way and the other way. Now single kicks. How do we do? Basic left. Right. Oh goodness. Now one V step. One mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Whoa. Basic left. So now you're just doing one B step, one mambo, two single kicks. Ready? One B step on the left. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. How about some leg curls to keep the heart rate up? Did we do it? B step right. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Leg curls for now. You might have noticed leg curls are my holding pattern. V step left. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Leg curls. Can I get rid of the curls for a little while? I did it in my hair. V step right. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. V step left. Bambo cha cha. Single kicks. You might want to notice how I'm exiting off that V step on the right. I go this way. Then I kick. Watch that exit. V step left. And I kind of walk out. Now kick. Let's try two more times. V step right. And kick. B step left. Go this way. Mambo. Kick. Leg curl. Do you remember that first one? The double knee step back, tango on the floor, tango on the step, and then that basic with all those options to it. We'll do it again. And we'll do both sides. You ready? Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step or tick tock. Basic or jump up. Double knee tango on the floor. Then the step. Basic, your version. Now, V step right. Mambo cha cha. Here's your kick. And another kick. V step left. Mambo cha cha. Here's your kick. Let's do one of each. What do you say? What do you say? Leg curls. I didn't hear an agreement there. Um, I think you're ready. You ready? Double knee tango on the floor. On the step tip, tick tock if you wish. Basic, you can run it. Now V step left. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Yes! Give me a triple curl repeater. Switch. One more. Basic left. We're going to try it from the other side. You ready? Double knee, tango on the floor. On the step, you can tick tock. Basic, or run it. V step, right foot. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Triple curl. I think I did a double, didn't I? Triple, sorry. I'm thinking ahead and that's not a good thing. Single knees. I'm gonna come over to the other side of the step again and be with you. Stay with what you're doing. All right? You did this before. You're gonna tap up and tap down. And remember we went over the top but it's not gonna be a fly over the top. So let's go over the top and back. And then back. So you're going away from the knee and now you're coming back towards me. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get in this athletic ready position where your foot barely coming off that step. See how it hovers. For those of you who take my step class often, you know what's going to happen here. We're going to speed it up, but not yet. 
I want you to get that movement because you want to be close to the step because you don't have a lot of time. You ready? Double time so we go across and a double. Four, three, two, and march. How do we do? Tap up, tap down. Fast over the top eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and march. Next time I want you to watch them exit as I march. Looks like a tango again. Fast four. Four, three, two. You're going to march. I'm going to tango like that. Fast four. Four, three, two. You're going to tango and exit. There we go. Yeah. Single knees. I'm going to go to the other side of the step now. I'm with you. We should all be on the same foot. On our right foot. Now left foot. Are you ready to go over fast? Are you? I think you are. Fast four over the top. So four, three, two, you got a little tango, then knee lift right now. All right, you're gonna face the other way on that fast four. Ready? Fast four over the top. Four, three, two, and a little tango. Now a knee lift. How do we do? I want to do it two more times before I add that last piece. And it's so simple, you're gonna say, oh come on, George, give us something else. You ready? Fast four. Tango exit. Knee lift. Knee knee lifts are temporary. One more knee. Get ready. Fast four. Tango. Knee lifts. So another thing is sometimes when I'm on that when I'm on this side, you could look behind me in the mirror and see what my feet are doing. Like I said, it's not always wise to look at my legs. Sometimes it's good to see what the feet are doing. So step is all about a visual learning, which a lot of us, 90% I mean, of us learn by vision. And then we hear it. And then we try to manage the two together. And then we put music on top of it. Could I make it more complicated? What if I did it in Arabic? I don't know Arabic, so there we go. Except some curse words, I will never do that. Give me that triple curl. Switch. Maybe I'll do it one day, but not plus you, all right? And again. So we're going to take this triple curl and just do a double curl. Switch. Basic left. Double curl. Basic left. For those of you who know what to do with the double curl, do it. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. Basic left. I don't want to confuse anybody. Double curl. Basic left. Here we go. Fast four over the top. That tango exit. Now double curl right away. Single knees. How'd you do? Should feel like, oh, that fits like a glove now. Fast four over the top. Tango, double curl right away. Single knee lifts. I'm going to come on your side of the step so I can be with you. Fast four. There's your tango. Here's your double curl. Fast four. Here's your tango. Here's your double curl. Do it again. Fast four. Tango. Double curl. Did you see those arms? To jack up my heart rate. Fast four. Double tango. Double curl. Single knee lifts. How do we do? Can we go back to the beginning? It was that double knee, tango on the floor, tango on the step, and then a basic. 
then the second one, that B step, mambo on the floor, single kicks. Our third one was the fast four. We'll do each side. You ready? I am, you are. Double knee tango on the floor. Tango, now tango on the step. Base stick right. Do it again. Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step. Basic left. B step left foot. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. Yeah? B step right. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks. I think you got it. I think you got it. Here comes the third one. Fast four over the top. Give me that tango on the floor. Now double curl. Fast four. Tango on the floor. Double curl. Single knee. Woo! How do we do? Should we do them both sides again? Probably so. Two more knees. Feel free to stop and watch if you need to. Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step or tick tock. Basic or runner squat. Double knee tango. Tango on the step or tick tock. Basic left. Left foot B step. Mambo cha cha. Kick it. Corner to corner. Now fast four. Approach B. Away. Towards. Away and tango. Double curl. Fast four. Tango, double curl. Single knees. Woo! You got everything you need so far. Now, one of each. One double knee tango. On the floor, on the step. Basic. B step, left foot. Mambo cha cha. Step kick, corner to corner. Fast four, approach me fast. Away, I sink. Double curl. Single knees. Woo! We'll do the other side now. We start on a different lead. You ready? Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step or tick tock. Basic right. Knees to the right foot. Mom little cha cha. Single kicks, corner to corner. That was crazy. Fast four. Tango, now double curl. Single knees. All right. Remember the very beginning, before I even put on the music, we did those tap backs. I'm gonna come on the other side of the step with you and do it with you. March in here on the left or right foot. So you're gonna step up. I'll do it in slow motion, forget the music. Up, up, tap, tap, and then exit. Now do it with the tempo. Yeah? So that's two lunges. What if we did six? You ready? Here we go. Up, up, six, five, four, three, two, exit, and again. Can you do it again? Six lunges. Four, five, six, and exit. And you should notice that you're going up on the same leg. All right. Can you do it? Six lunges. Exit. All right, for those of you who know how to do this, you can join me as I take it around the step. You don't have to go. You can keep doing six lunges, just like you're doing. In four, three, two, six lunges, everyone. Exit and march. Six lunges. Exit and march. How do we do? 
one more time. Six lunges. Six, five, four, three, two, basic right. Stay with your basic right. I want to go the other way. Give me one knee. Now basic left. Six lunges. Six, five, four, three, two, exit. Basic left. And if you're going to turn, you're going to turn that way. You ready? Six lunges. Six, five, four, three, two, exit. Basic left. I'm going to turn on the next one. You don't have to. Six lunges. Now, knee lifts. Now, that's how we end it, with those six lunges. You don't have to turn. Remember, it's confusing. You know what you could also do is just four single knee lifts, four single leg curls, four basics. It'll all equal the same. You ready to start from the top? All right, this is a song that tends to slow down. Give me a second. Let me speed it back up. I don't want to get rid of it because I think it's a great song. Tap on your right. Do you need to get some water? So let's rehearse and then we'll perform. What do you say? Basic right. We're going to go to the top. Do a half of each. Here we go. Double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step. Basic left. V step left. Mongo cha cha. Single kiss. Fast four over the top. Here's your tango on the floor. Now double curl. Six lunges. Single knee lifts. How do you do? It's our first rehearsal. Those never go well. Trust me. Well, depends on your seat partner. From the top, double knee tango on the floor. Tango on the step or tick top. Basic, any version. Right foot V-step. Mambo cha-cha. Single kicks. Now fast four over the top. Tango on the floor, double curl repeater. Six lunges, turn if you wish. Six, five, four, three, two, single knee lifts. All right, I think you got it. I don't think we need to keep doing these single knees. But remember, if you don't want to do those lunges, do the knees. From the top in two. Double knee tango backwards. On the step now. Basic. Knee step left foot. Mambo. Cha cha. Single kicks. Yep, good. Fast four over the top. Tango. Double curl repeater. Six lunges. Six, five, four, three, two from the top. Double knee tango. On the step now. Basic right. B step right. Bombo. Single kicks. Fast four over the top. Tango on the floor. Now double curl repeater. Six lunges, turn if you wish. From the top, double knee tango. Tango on the step. Basic. B step, right foot. Mambo cha cha. Single kicks with effort. Oh. Fast four over the top. Tango. Double curl. Six lunges, turn if you wish. I'm gonna watch you. Four more. Two more. From the top, double knee tango. You know I can watch you. 
Papa, Papa. Face it. Right foot V step. Mambo, cha cha. Single kicks. Fast four. Go for it. Tango, now double curl. Six lunges, turn if you wish. Two more times, from the top, yeah? Double knee tango. On the step, basic left. B step, mambo cha cha. Single kiss. Fast four, go for it. Tango, now double curl. Six lunges, turn if you want to. Six, five, four, three, two. From the top, double knee tango. On the step, basic. B step, right foot, mambo. Single kicks. Fast four over the top. Tango, now double curl. Six lunges. We better do it again. Double knee tango. On the step. Basic. B step. Left foot. Mambo. Okay, I'm sure Lena said yes. Did you? And Susan. Fast four. Tango. Double curl. Six lunges. Meredith, should we do it again? Petra, yes. Double knee tango. On the step. Basic. Last time, I swear. B step. Mambo. Kick. Phil, start your unit. Fast over to the top. Double curl, you're almost home. Six lunges. Single knees. Woo! Was it as crazy as last week? Or are you better at it? I bet you're better at it. It's just like learning a language. It takes more than 45 minutes. Except this language is not only verbal, it's physical. Just bring in your heart rate down a little bit. Don't leave. I don't want you to go sit at a desk and do a sweaty email. It'll wait a few more minutes. You know, if you do that email now, they're just going to send you another one right away thinking, oh, she's working, he's working. Don't give that impression. March on the ground. Let your heart rate come down. Enjoy your last few moments before you have to go to that damn keyboard. Now the one thing though, you don't have to shower right away, do you? Who really knows? Except the people around you at home. Unless you're alone or your dog. Great sense of smell, but she doesn't seem to bother, get bothered by it. So let's march a little wider. Four, three, two, easy tap. Easy tap. You can see how we're reducing the amount of physical motion. So the heart rate comes down and your breathing gets back to normal. Now I know you want to still skip out. Don't skip out. It's important to stretch. It's important. I'm going to watch you. All right. I want you to hold it to your left. You're going to turn. You're going to lunge down. Hold the lunge and reach up. And just hold that. Hold that while I hit a little softer music on it. crazy young people in their loud music. They should feel this in 
this right hip in the front of it. Bring your arms down. You're gonna scoot your left foot, your right foot up a little bit. Push your heel down. Now, if you can try to get your feet parallel with each other, but not on the same tightrope, all right? Then you're gonna open your arms and lean a little bit more into it, but you're gonna keep that back heel down. Check it out in the mirror if you can't see it because of the step. And then you're gonna pull your arms further back like someone's pulling them for you. And then release and bring your arms down. You're gonna take this left foot in a little bit. You're gonna push your, sorry, your right hip, your right foot forward. You're gonna push your right hip to me. I'm gonna turn this way so you see a little bit more clearly. So it's like this motion or this motion. And then you're gonna shift that arm over to help drive that hip outward. So think less about the ribs, more about the hip. So if you're not gonna stretch after this class, and you're gonna go sit down, you're gonna be so stiff. And then come back up. I'm gonna turn back to the original position. I'm gonna hinge backward, keeping my back straight, bending my right knee, but now I'm stretching out my left hamstring. I'm gonna stick my booty out, stick my sternum forward, but not drop, not, not raise my chin, and then take my arms back. Left knee, you're gonna rise up nice and easy. Hold on to something if you need to. You're gonna grab that right foot for a quad stretch. Either hand or both, whatever gets you the best stretch. And then let that foot go. Turn to the front, face me. Hands on your thighs. I want you to pull your belly button away from your waistband. Stretch out your low back. So I hope you enjoy that class. And like, it's going to be uploaded so that if you need to go back and look at some of those steps again or do the workout again, you're totally available. It's right there for you anytime. Three in the morning. Then roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to turn this way now to the right. You're gonna take your left foot so far back the heel can't touch, drop into a modified lunge, and reach back up. I hope to see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for just like a 15 minute stretch class. You don't need to get all dressed up for it, it's just whatever you're wearing. Jammies, pants, even a dress. Maybe I'll show up in a dress or a tutu. And bring your arms down. You're going to bring that left foot forward. Put the heel down. Make sure the feet are parallel again. Let me back away from the steps so they sit a little clearer. Then you're going to open your arms again. Send the sternum forward. Draw the elbows in. And it's like you're hitchhiking this way and that way. Working your rotator cuff muscles. Just make sure you're not driving it up into your ears. Keep it low. Relax your arms. You're going to bring this right foot forward a little bit more, standing on it, both feet equally. You're going to push your left hip towards me. I'll turn this way again so you see that. So it's like you're a greater than sign, a greater than sign. And this arm shifts a little bit more. So think it's not in this rib, it's in this hip. I'll go back this way, shift my weight back to my left foot, hinge from my hip, stick my booty out, stick my sternum forward, not the chin, relax that foot. This time, I'm going to reach forward as I sit into it. Stretching out your right hamstring. And then you're going to softly, easily come up. Put all your weight on your right foot, find your balance, and then grab that left ankle, either hand or both. Be real tall, shoulders back. And then let that foot drift back. Turn 
turn back towards me. This time, think of your hands as hooks. You're gonna hook under your thigh, and you're gonna pull and feel that stretch in your upper back. And then roll up slowly. Chin is the last thing to come up. And then one more stretch for your neck. Think of this hand reaching across your back, trying to get into that back pocket on the other side. Like you're trying to pickpocket yourself. That's a weird idea. I don't know where that came from. And release it. Same thing, this hand's gonna reach across your back and try to go into your back pocket on the other side. If you had a pocket. You can see here's that hand. Shoulders around a couple of times. Big circles, huge. Oh. Try doing this while you're sitting at your desk, looking at that damn screen. It'll feel so good. Take a deep breath up. Exhale. That stretch that I'm doing tomorrow is all about anti-sitting, anti-screen watching. So, have I sold it enough yet? One more deep breath in. Exhale, that's at 8 a.m. All right. Thank you so much for exercising today with me. I'm glad you joined me. I hope you have a really great day and a great weekend. Hope the weather is good wherever you are. It's not here. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, plugging along, stay safe, keep each other safe and comfortable, and we'll see each other soon. All right? Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.